you have a piece of paper and you are dividing it. So you divide it further and further into halves. Till what stage can you reach so that you are not able to divide it further? Years back, a Greek philosopher named Democritus came up with the idea of atoms. Atom comes from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible. So according to Democritus, anything which is divided can be divided up to the stage when it, re when it reaches atoms. Atom is the smallest indivisible unit. Nothing can be divided further atoms. So everything in the world, from a tall Eiffel Tower, to books, to chair, to table, everything that you see around you is made up of atoms. Well, does this contradict with what you studied in biology? In biology, you must have studied that cell is the smallest living unit. And right now, I am saying that atom is the smallest unit. Well, no, I am not contradicting with your concepts of biology. Cell is the smallest living unit. And these cells are further made up of atoms. So everything in the world, be it living or non-living, from a small insect to plants to animals, including us, everything is made up of these atoms. So we will zoom inside the layers of the skin as we go deeper and deeper. So right now you see that it's 10 to the power minus 6 meters going deep inside the layers. 10 to the power minus 12 meters deep now. So the final stage that we can reach is the atoms. So atom is the smallest unit of everything that you see around you. Let's observe something now. You have six balls, three red, three green. Let's try to make different arrangements using these balls. So you can have a set of two green balls, two red balls, one red, one green, three red balls together, three green balls, two green balls, one red ball, or two red balls, one green ball. So these are the different arrangements which are possible if you have a set of three green balls and three red balls. Likewise, when atoms, these atoms also combine. Similar atoms can combine or different atoms can combine. When they combine, they form molecules. So a combination of atoms, similar atoms or different atoms gives us molecules. So a combination of atoms is known as molecules.